Welcome everybody here to our next webinar at uh, JFT Bank and a warm welcome in the name of JFT Bank as well. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski as always for JFT Invest webinars in English and JFT Invest that means a genuine experience for traders. But um, I didn't mention the date for today. We have the 11th of October 2019, 11 o'clock at least in uh, Germany, wherever you are, you might have a different time zone. JFT Invest in a nutshell, what is it? JFT Invest is a digital trading platform. It's a digital wealth management uh, platform. So finally, there are trading strategies existing trading strategies reviewed by a team of experts at uh, JFD Bank. And those trading strategies are public, public in a sense that within JFD Invest, you can follow exactly those profitable trading strategies by selecting suitable trading strategies and allocating amount of money to a given strategy and all the rest is done at JFD. That means the trades of those master accounts are copied directly into your account according to your preferences, your weights. Um, that means you participate of those, those trading strategies and you have the same results as the master accounts in your trading account. So finally, what you are doing is you act as a portfolio manager, you select the strategies and those you select are copied into your JFD Invest account. So that's JFD Invest in a nutshell and it really gives you a genuine experience, I can tell you, and you will like it, hopefully. Um, and enjoy it. If you have any further questions, I just mentioned here my email address, you see it on my first slide, s.friedrichowski at jftbank.com. And please just call me Stefan, that's uh, fair enough. I think um, you know the procedure. Anyhow, before we really start, uh, I have to show at least once during any webinar that uh, so-called risk disclaimer, because we talk about trading, we talk about investment, but finally, all your decisions you do are on your own and your own responsibility. What we will touch today is, of course, I will give you an overview about JFD Invest, that digital wealth management platform. I will share with you the profitable trading uh, strategies, the highlights of last week, um, the top performer has been BIP generator. And that is quite uh, interesting strategy, uh, especially in uh, today's time, because it's trading exclusively British pound, US dollars, the so-called cable. And uh, as you know, British uh, pound is quite tricky at the moment. And sometimes the strategy is exactly participating from, from the uncertainty in the uh, United Kingdom. But a little bit, it's too uncertain, to be honest. But let's see, and I will share with you some more details about the strategy because uh, um, that strategy is out of my hand. So we have access here directly to the master account and I can show you some more details about that strategy. So I mentioned already that was a highlight um, of last week and that was just the one week result here for that strategy you will see um, uh, on on the newsletter we sent around um, every week and uh, hopefully it will pop up at your end uh, in a few seconds. I hope that my voice is still synchronized so that uh, you have the right um, wording to the right charts. Um, okay, I think now it's uh, online at your end as well. And you can see that this strategy earned 7% just in one week. But overall, the strategy has not done as good as others, but you will see uh, when we talk to the, about the overall uh, strategy review. And I mentioned the keyword review because the keyword review is quite important for your investing decisions as well. Before jumping into any strategy, I strongly recommend to do an in-depth 
a review of all those strategy in order to finally decide which one fits to your preferences most because not everybody every trader is the same one is more risk averse one is more risk affine whatever so it always has to do with risk as well and therefore it's quite good to do such an review process and let me introduce JFD Invest um, platform uh, shortly. So you you may start at the homepage at uh, JFD Bank, and there you will find a button which is called Investing, and uh, there you can directly jump into JFD Invest. Doing so, then you will get some more additional information about uh, JFD Invest and let me explain briefly what it's all about but first of all i will um, scroll a little bit down here because then you see what we are really talking about because what you have already on our home page are the top five performing strategies that um, ranking is updated once a day i think at midnight and you can see that we are not talking about small Grows no small returns. No, we are really talking about double digit growth uh, on a year base. And um, what you can see, for example, Hyperion, uh, the best strategy at all here, has up to now an overall return within one and a half year. Later, you will see how to learn how old the strategy is. But that strategy has earned 137% in one and a half year. Wow. So those strategies we are talking about. And uh, we have already some other key figures um, here on, um, on within that table. And you will later learn that uh, the maybe most important one is equity balance deviation, which is a little bit like drawdown, um, but indeed it's uh, telling you a little bit more. Um, but let me discuss that later within that strategy. You see last month's year to date. So within this year, that strategy uh, starting in the 1st of January this year, that strategy has earned 40%. I think that's quite cool. Okay, those are the top five performer for performer, and you uh, we have a little bit more strategies. Uh, I think it's right now fifteen. Um, but now you see, I scroll up a little bit here, just that you know how to participate at uh, JFD Invest. There are four steps needed, and uh, you would start with a sign up for a JFD Invest profile. Uh, that is a green button here. Um, so just pressing that button, you create your own profile. Um, there's no money involved. Um, it's just a registration process um, with your email address and a given password, and uh, then. Uh, if you use that um, profile, you will later have some more details about the given strategies. If you like JFT Invest, you might open a JFT Invest account as well. Um, even if you are um, happily uh, already a client of uh, a JFT, nevertheless, you need a separate account for your portfolio activities because that account has. Um, the same leverage than professional traders do have. So it has a leverage of one to 100 for Forex, for example, because the professionals who deliver those strategies have the same conditions, so you should have the same as well. They may be, from your perspective, downside might be, you cannot really trade by your own in terms of open a single trade. That account is just meant for uh, your portfolio within JFD Invest. So you select strategies and follow those strategies if you like. You connect the two, your profile with the account, and then you can start following any trading strategy. In order to, to show you a little bit more of how it really works and what kind of details you have about the given strategies, we can even use the so-called guest access because the guest access uh, you can use without any profile. So if you just like to learn a little bit more about JFT Invest, you might press just the guest access button first because then you can see much more about JFT invest so 
it um, the starting um, point is always find the right strategies and um, so we start with the overview in total here we have 10 strategies and there's a second page uh, you might uh, have a view as well and um, once again you have those key figures still Hyperion which is really a brilliant strategy with a return of 137 percent starting in you see the inception date in January 2018 and let me really jump into that strategy because that strategy is extremely helpful to explain how you might do your review process. That review process is really important, therefore I mentioned it now already a second time, because you can see already out of that ranking, um, you have returns and you have, for example, an equity balance deviation, which is a little bit like a drawdown. And just as a guide, um, you might realize, okay, the higher the return, the higher the drawdown. Yes, indeed. Uh, in most cases, uh, this is right. It's not a linear uh, relationship between the two numbers, but um, there is a relationship. As always, the more risk you have within a strategy, the more potential return you might have, even if of course, historical results are um, no guarantee for any future. But as you can see, for example, the return here is about three times uh, the risk or the drawdown. And um, that is um, gold mine, for example. Uh, it's about the same three times, but with less drawdown, but not that much return as Hyperion. And now, why it's so important that you set your own guidelines about selecting any strategy. You might have something in your mind telling you, okay, I don't want to have never a drawdown of more than 10%, just as an example. If you have that in mind, okay, then in principle, you could not follow the strategy Hyperion because you can see already in the history that there has been higher drawdowns. But there might be an alternative. Think about you would follow five strategies. So you really create a portfolio and only one fifth of your um, overall account is allocated to the strategy Hyperion. And that is what you can do within JFD Invest that you can allocate a certain amount of money to a given strategy. Then that compared to your overall account, that drawdown would translate to something of about 8% compared to your complete um, uh, account. So that might be an alternative to even follow Hyperion within a portfolio approach. Nevertheless, you might even say, okay, no, I just have money left here and um, I don't care about the risk. Uh, I want the maximum on profit and then of course you would put all your money into Hyperion. Of course that is an alternative approach as well. My preference is always to create a portfolio because that's um, from my end as a more safe way but anyhow there is no holy grail in selecting that. You have seen that I pressed the button Hyperion so we get much more details about uh, that strategy. First we start with the overall growth uh, since the inception of the strategy and you can see there's a steady growth and especially in the last couple of weeks uh, there was a strong increase uh, definitely here. You see that we have some other statistics on any trading strategies uh, which might help you for your own review process, like a monthly return table. Ideally, that return table would be totally green. And indeed, there are two strategies with a complete green monthly return table. Those two strategies are Butterfly and Forex Gun. Um, so they have not a single month with a negative result up to now. And you can see statistics about the trading strategies, like how many trades have been executed, uh, average win, average loss, and so on and so forth. So um, that you can see. But now let's talk about drawdowns. I mentioned that this equity balance deviation is a little bit like a drawdown. Uh, the overall drawdown of that strategy would even exceed um, 
about 50%, as you can see, if you follow my cursor here, uh, then you will see that we have a difference of about 50% here between a high and a low. But equity balance deviation is already telling you a lot of uh, the strategy. It means, as you know, if you have a trading account, uh, if you don't have any trade open, uh, then the two numbers, equity and balance, equal each other. But at the moment you open a trade, um, then that trade might be profitable or in a loss, and that creates what is called equity balance deviation. So what does it mean if we have a number of um, 40% here? It means if you have, for example, 10K, a 10K account, and we have an equity balance deviation of 40%, that would mean that there are open trades with so-called floating losses of 4,000 euros. That's exactly what that number is telling you. So it's the temporary losses included. And that's good that we have that we have uh, that transparent that we even show that because otherwise um, that graph here would look much more nice. But we want to be absolutely transparent and therefore we share that information with you as well. We have even a graph for uh, equity balance deviation so you can see that versus time. And that is something which is quite special about the strategy Hyperion that more or less there are always a lot of open trades with floating losses. So that is typically for that strategy. The strategy is working uh, with rebuy mechanism. So even in a loss situation, it would rebuy that position. So if you have an, um, a long trade on DAX and uh, the DAX goes up, uh, goes down, then at a certain time the strategy would buy once again a long trade and that creates th that average floating losses of about minus 10 minus 15 percent so if you have that strategy in your mind you have to know that there are always about 10 to 15 percent open trades and with losses but finally it seems to create really a good growth and that is um, we can have a view on the equity here as well. That is another graph which displays, on the one hand, the two curves, the equity and the balance simultaneously. So the difference is what we have seen before. And you see, if we would only have placed the equity curve, that would be the upper green one here, and that would create just a step to the north and nothing else. But now, all of a sudden, there's a huge step to the south. Hey, does it mean a drawdown? No. And therefore, I show that example here as well, because we have looked already to the overall growth, and we haven't seen that step there. So what's the reason for that step down here? Hmm. Simply a withdrawal. There might even steps up. That would mean there has been a deposit. We show everything, but as you can see, uh, you have to compare the growth graph with the overall equity graph, which displays equity and balance. And then you can realize, oops, okay, that has nothing to do with trading. It just was just the withdrawal within that account. <laughs> and that has nothing to do with you. If you follow the strategy, it's not um, meaning that there will be some <clears throat> money taking out of your account. Definitely the answer is no. It's just the master account, the trader, which as responsible for that strategy, he took out of, out of his account some money, but that doesn't have any impact um, for you. As you can see, we have a little bit more details here, like for example, instruments, and um, that means you, you get to know what kinds of instruments are being traded, and you can see that here in this case, the majority of all trades are executed on DAX and Dow Jones. So if you like indices, one reason more for that strategy. So even that might be on your preference list. What kind of uh, underlyings do you want to trade? But now <clears throat> let's have a view on another strategy um, because I have been the, the, the top performer of last week and that was BIP generator. Overall, the strategy has earned up to now um, 11% and 
let's see how that strategy is working and what we can learn from this one. As I mentioned already, the strategy is trading exclusively the so-called cable. That means um, the British pound US dollar. And you can see it's quite uh, up and down, up and down here. And uh, what's the reason for that? Okay, the strategy works with a quite uh, tight stop loss um, for um, its trading activities. It's trading sequences of um, those um, of British pound US dollar in the long and in the short direction simultaneously. I will explain and I will show you how that really works uh, in a second because then we go directly to the master account. So overall, even if the situation with British pound is really tricky in those days, um, the strategy is earning money. And uh, so that's a quite interesting one as well. As I mentioned, traded instruments, you can see British pound, US dollar, all those as um, information you have available. So let's have a view directly into the master account because then I can, can explain a little bit better how the strategy works and here we are um so you can see that is a standard mt4 um uh, on a virtual private server and uh, as you can see with uh, those lines here the green and red lines uh, those illustrate um trades executed in the past when they finally come to an end. I hope the picture will pop up at your end uh, in a second. It should be there now. You see mm, quite a lot of those lines. Red lines means those trades have been um, not profitable. Green lines, those trades have been profitable. But you can see that those things here finally end up at one point. And that is what I meant with a trading sequence. Sequence. Originally, there has been a short trade opened on this position here. That short trade on the first hand went well, but now um, the market went to the north. Here has been another rebuy, meaning opening another short another short, another short, and so on and so forth. So we have more and more short trades open. And finally, we have just that pullback here, and that brought us the result that the final um, uh, trade sequence was profitable, because if you would add up all those trades here, they would be profitable. And what the strategy is doing, it has always short and long positions open, simultaneously and as you can see from the horizontal lines here uh, right now because the, the price goes north we open indeed some more um, some more uh, short positions and uh, let me enlarge the picture a little bit here and uh, so that we see a little bit more but nevertheless what you can see else is there has been a long trade, profitable. Now there has been a long trade from here to here, already reaching um, uh, reaching take profit. And still price goes further up. And as we speak, we have long trades and short trades open. And um, what we have is we have seven trades open on the short direction and one trade open on the long direction. So that's how that strategy works in both directions simultaneously. The idea behind is that if you have um, an underlying which is more or less just wiggling around, uh, going up, going down, going up, going down, then that strategy is ideally uh, suited for those kinds of market situations. And beside if um, the last couple of months, because of the ongoing Brexit discussion, um, it really worked quite, quite well in the history. Um, as we speak, it's a little bit too much movements into 
one direction. Therefore, we have, as you have seen, um, a couple of stop losses, um, stop loss levels reached already um, during uh, the last uh, months. But finally, when everything comes down, then it will be the ideal strategy for British pound US dollar. Still, it's a little bit tricky uh, because we have sometimes moves in one direction which are too heavy reaching the stop loss level. But on the other hand, it's good that the strategy has those stop loss levels. Uh, therefore, it's always with limited risk. Okay. Um, as always, I want to share with you my, my overall trading account and uh, the results achieved uh, since inception of uh, JFD and West. And uh, that's what I have achieved <clears throat> until the very start of JFD and West, September last uh, year. I have a trading account um, with 10K and you can see that I have a gross return of um, uh, 27% and we have a few stop loss levels reached okay but nevertheless uh, we earned uh, quite good money how to do something like that first of all I will share with you my current allocation you can see that I'm invested in six different uh, strategies as we speak <clears throat> so I created a real good portfolio and now let's assume we want to change something so and that's a good thing for JFD West what I show you here is exactly what you can do wherever you are if you have access to the internet. You don't need your own server, expert advisors, or anything else. You can do the job wherever you are, even on a holiday. So, for example, if I want to stop um, the allocation of the strategy Volcano, it would just mean pressing that button. Uh, there's one another confirmation step needed, but that's how it works. Or let's think about we want to to jump into a new strategy, which is actually for me not possible because uh, my money is uh, completely invested. But let's assume we want to follow Hyperion um, as a strategy. Uh, then it was just pressing the button. And now you see, okay, uh, there's a minimum amount needed to follow that strategy, which is 6K, and I don't have uh, that available. Um, and um, therefore, I cannot really uh, execute what I am uh, show you here. But the next step would mean that we need, um, we can apply what is called uh, risk management. Let me explain you what that means. Um, that means we can apply a stop loss level on a strategy level, not a stop loss on an individual trade. But if, in this case, it's, the slider starts at 10%, if we would invest 6K, so if the strategy would have open losses of 600 euros or would have a drawdown of 600 euros, then automatically the st strategy would be, would be stopped, trades closed from that strategy and no new trades uh, would be open. So it's a stop loss on a strategy level. You can apply that as well. What I did not mention up to now, but uh, as we are transparent, I want to share that with you as well. You can find on details here uh, directly the number minimum investment. And in this case, it's 6K for this strategy. But I don't want to hide another number here. Uh, there's always a performance fee involved. But the good thing, there are two things which are really good. It's 25%, okay, but it's only on the profits, not on your account. There's no management fee, no base costs um, being charged every month or something like that. No, it's just a performance fee based on profits. No profits, no fee. The other good thing is that it's based on high watermark principles. That means only if your followed strategy reaches new highs on a month's end base, because that is always done at a month's end, then you would have to pay that amount of money. If a strategy would just oscillate, okay, then you would have to pay um, for the first step up, you would have to pay something, but um, only uh, when you are 
next uh, at an all time high then you can uh, then you will see new charges let me just check because there is uh, um, the question maybe i missed it but uh, can we trust the strategy to work for five years and more and plan investing that way um, the answer is of course you can um, the, on the other hand i cannot give you any guarantee on the one hand because of legal reason and on the other hand it's in principle not possible nobody can really foresee the future we can always have a view on how the strategy has been in the past and um, there is no real crystal ball to tell you hey uh, is it the same for the next one two or five years as you mentioned um, what I would do, or what I recommend always uh, in, in, in going for any strategy, um, that I would use that kind of diversification. So I, I personally would not uh, put all my money into a single strategy, um, especially in order to be, be not, um, um, not to have too many risks involved, because if you put everything in one, and that strategy would not work anymore for whatever reason, um, then you would lose your money. But if you are diversified, uh, then that is a good idea, uh, even if something might go wrong. But because the history is always, of course, no guarantee for the future. Uh, and even if we look for a strategy like uh, Butterfly, for example, um, you can see perfect growth, perfect monthly return table, but uh, will it be forever exactly like that? Uh, okay, ah, okay. Now, now I see another question here. Sure, I meant more about where the strategy is coming from and if JFD will keep the service of investing going for long term. Absolutely, the answer is yes. Um, we, this uh, is a cool platform. We have quite good. Um, uh, feedback from from clients um, so there's absolutely no reason uh, to 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 stop any activity here um, and um, therefore uh, no this will be going on for long term so even long term investments are highly welcome okay so I hope you learned a little bit more about JFD Invest and if you have further questions um, please do not uh, hesitate to drop me a line here to s.friedrichowski at jfdbank.com. Um, I will help you uh, as soon as possible and uh, I can, can guarantee that this will be only a couple of uh, hours. Okay, if you would send me an email at midnight, it might take a little bit longer, but um, be sure I will help you. Okay. I hope you become interested in JFT Invest, uh, which is really a, a genuine experience for trader. Um, and uh, it could be an add-on to your investing activities if you like. And uh, hopefully see you again, uh, even in other webinars as well. Yes, you know, I have a couple of them, uh, even in English, uh, two months, and you will find those on the JFT homepage. And uh, we have, will have another webinar about JFT and West, uh, I think in two weeks from now. Hope to see you again there. And um, have a good time and an even better weekend. So bye-bye.